Bonjour Annie. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et toi? Très bien, très bien. So, before you took on I'm that... I'm so glad you know that was the extent of my French. Yes, well, it was perfect. It was perfect. Before you took on that role uh, of Jane Austen, what did you find out about her that most people don't know? Um, well, considering that what most people know about Jane Austen is the common biography that she died when she was 41, wrote six novels and never married, um, quite a bit. Uh, I found out that Jane, I guess I had always imagined that Jane was very similar to Elizabeth Bennet, um, and then I found out she, she wasn't. Um, her brother described Jane as uh, being a galvanizing figure, that when she met people, people either loved her or they completely disliked her right away. That she, uh, that she was very particular and a little, more, a little difficult to get along with, but nonetheless quite a lovely person. So how did you step into Jane's shoes for, for a movie? What do you do for that? Um, how do you become Jane? <laughs> uh, well, assuming that I, that I was successful in my endeavor, I, uh, I moved to England for a month before we started filming to immerse myself in the, the process of, of discovering my character. And I worked with the dialect coach for six hours a day. And I had to learn to play the piano, and of course I had to learn how to dance and do calligraphy, and I had a lot of research to do. I reread all of her books. Um, I got to read her original letters, so it was a pretty intense research period, but very fun. That's my dog. <laughs> What's his name? Es her name is Esmeralda. Esmeralda. You belong to a small group.